uh, last but certainly not least, we're going back east um, and we will hear from uh, Cheryl Bradley again. Cheryl? Great, thank you, Lori. Next slide. So the Eastern Transportation Coalition is a collective impact organization of 19 states in the District of Columbia. For those who may have seen our logo in recent months, you might notice a change as West Virginia has recently joined the coalition and we're thrilled to have them on board. This year, we also celebrate the coalition's 30th anniversary for connecting people for solutions. Next slide. In addition to our 20 state level DOTs, we also have involvement by more than 250 other transportation and uh, related agencies and organizations. Here you can see some stats about our states. Notably, we are, uh, we are home to 43% of the nation's licensed drivers, as well as 42% of the nation's jobs. Mm -hmm. And we're responsible for 41% of the US vehicle miles traveled. So moving people, goods and services safely and reliably is a big part of what we do day by day. Next slide. As for our organizational structure, we are a member funded organization that's led by our executive board. Our board is comprised of the DOT executives from our member states. We of course have our coalition staff who manages work within three programmatic areas, TISMO, freight and innovation. And next slide, within each of these programmatic areas, we have various working groups and committees, as you can see here. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to go too far into those. Um, you can see all of this on our website as well. Uh, next slide. And again, for how we prioritize our work is based off of those priorities set forth by the board, but also looking at the intersectionality of those priorities. For instance, how data can be used to improve safety, what technology we need to capture that data, and then how we're going to fund that technology. Um, next slide. And finally, what can be gained from the Eastern Transportation Coalition? And I apologize, I'm going kind of quick, more so just to be able uh, to, to keep us on time here. But what can be gained from a coalition environment that can't be done on an individual basis? Looking back at the coalition's roots, uh, we got our start with our highway operations groups that evolved out of a large scale incident that had regional implications mm -hmm. that sparked the conversation for structured traffic incident management, multi-jurisdictional collaboration and interoperability. Mm -hmm. The coalition provides us the framework to continue those efforts. We also have lessons learned. There's a wealth of information sharing that happens amongst our states, and that information includes success stories, the challenges, and lessons learned that can help to guide others' approach to a common need. These conversations also spark ideas for what needs have arisen and where we can go next in our programmatic efforts. And finally, there are similarities in the transportation issues faced by every state and every region of the U.S., there are also differences and nuances to those transportation issues. As a coalition of 20 states, we're big enough to bring our unique but powerful Eastern voice to the table for these national conversations while still being small enough to be mindful of the individuality of each of our member states. Um, and those are the things that we are bringing into the programmatic work that I talked about in panel one in order to to connect and to move these technologies and this roadway digital infrastructure on a larger scale across our corridor and hopefully beyond. And I'll cut it short at that. Great, thanks so much, Cheryl. Really appreciate it. I know uh, Eastern Transportation Coalition has really been a leader in, in how to run um, one of these corridor organizations. So thank you so much for being here. And with that, I will turn it back to John.